Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Myself Rajbir. I'm from Shivjyoti Educational Group, Kota. Students, today we will take a topic from English Grammar, Class Three, Chapter Number Fifteen, Adverb. All of you, please open page number sixty-three. Let's read what are adverbs. Adverbs are the words that add meaning to verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs in a sentence. We can also call them how, when, and where words. They tell us how an action is done, when an action is done, and where it is done. Action कहाँ हुआ है, कब हुआ है, और कैसे हुआ है. This is actually tells us in adverbs. Adverbs, for example, Rita dances gracefully. So in this sentence, Rita is dancing. Dancing is a verb, and gracefully is an adverb, which is actually adding value to its verb. Okay. Adverb of manner. There are basically three type of adverbs: adverb of manner, adverb of time, adverb of place. So first of all, let's read the adverb of manner. Adverb of manner tells us how action are done. It tells us how action is actually done, right? Happily, loudly, fast, quietly, kindly. These all words are showing that how an action is done. We often add ly to adjectives to change them into adverbs of manner. It is very very simple that we can simply add ly to adjective and convert them into adverb. Like for example, slow. If I add ly, it will become slowly. Careful. Ly add. It will become carefully. Heavy. Ly add. It will become heavily. Angry. I'll add ly and it will become angrily. So very simply, we have converted these adjectives into adverb of manner. That how action is done. Let's see exercise number A. Fill in the blanks by adding ly to the adjectives given in the brackets. In this in in this exercise, you are available with the options. You are available with the help boxes. What you have to do, you have to add ly in it, and you have to fill the blank. The magician shouted loud will be loudly. Zafar dash said goodbye to his friend. Sad will be sadly. Rest of the sentences you have to do of your own. Okay, let's see further. Next type of adverb is adverb of time. Tells us when actions are done. It is actually telling us when an action is done. For example, today never, yesterday tomorrow, soon later, early, often, daily, always, again. These all are the words which actually showing us that when an action is done, that is adverb of time. Let's see exercise number B. It is for adverb of time. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverb of time from the box. Joseph is dash the first one to reach the playground. You are available with this help box. You have to fill the blanks with the help of this help box. So Joseph is always the first one to reach the playground. This will be the adverb of time. Dash we play together with our other friends. Every day we play together with our other friends. So every day here will be the adverb of time. Rest of the sentences you will do of your own. Now, the last type of adverb that is adverb of place tells us where the actions are done. Now, the actions where the actions are done it is by adverb of place. Like for example, outside, everywhere, upstairs, inside, up, down, here, above, away. These all words are denoting adverb of place. That where. the action is taking place exercise c in the sentences given below underline the adverb of place now in this exercise what you have to do you have to identify the adverb of place for example let's see my school is 2 kilometers away from my house so in this sentence away is the word which is showing adverb of place similarly Harish looked everywhere for his lost pen. Now, in this sentence, everywhere is the adverb of place. 
rest of the sentences you will do of your own. Let us see exercise number D. Circle the adverbs that describe the underlined verbs in the each sentences. Now what you have to do, you have to circle the adverbs which explain the verb well. Now the singer did not sing well, so you have to underline the word well. Now Sanjana always studies in the afternoon. In this sentence you have, you can see always is the word which is showing the adverb of time. You have to circle the word always. Rest of the sentences you can do of your own. Now let us see the next exercise. Underline the adverbs in the following sentences. Write which kind of adverb they are. Now what you have to do in this exercise? You have to underline the the adverb in the sentence and you have to mention the kind of the adverb it is. For example, let us see he picked up the little boy gently. So in this sentence gently is the adverb and what kind of adverb it is? It is adverb of manner. Similarly handle the tray carefully. In this sentence carefully is the again adverb of manner. So you have to underline the word carefully and write here adverb of manner. Rest of the sentences you can do of your own. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay home, stay safe. Hope you like the video. Thank you.